Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This week we are doing a, an episode about weird buildings. So we're talking about Derwent Tower. Uh, this series we'll just pick a building each week or every two weeks, uh, discuss about it, um, look at its rise, its fall, and its uh, eventual demolition and the sort of changes that happen throughout. So Derwent Tower. Derwent Tower, also known as Dunstan Rocket, was a 29-storey residential apartment building in Tyne and Weir. The tower was designed by the Owen Luder Partnership on behalf of Wickham Council, who formerly were in control of the Dunstan area of Gateshead. If you remember from the Trinity Square video, um, Owen Luder Partnership also did the Get Carter or Trinity Square car park in uh, central Gateshead. The original brief was for three high-rise towers of at least 22 storeys. However, due to the adverse ground conditions of the site, uh, the decision was made to build these as one tower rather than three. Uh, the rest of the residential units on the site were made up by low-rise uh, masonette style houses. Uh, these would be between two and five storeys tall. The tower would hold 13,000 residents in total. <clears throat> the architect advised against the construction of a high-rise building on the site but the council was strongly in favour. Construction began in 1968 and was completed in 1971. The construction proved to be complex to the very poor ground conditions of the site. The foundations used a sunken concrete caisson that was built above ground and then sunk underneath. Uh, this was sunk over a period of time. This style of foundation is actually predominantly used uh, in harbour construction or um, building very close to um, large amounts of water. So this was the first time this had ever been used for a local authority tower block. This caisson would then later become an underground car park for the residents. This caisson would cost £130,000 and would take five and a half months to erect and would be 33 feet deep. This would provide parking for 165 vehicles. Even with the foundations dug this deep, the tower would need further support in order to hold it up. They used uh, flying buttresses which would hold up the tower and these were like um, struts that would connect into the tower and help stabilise it. These would go from the ground up to the fifth floor. The tower block was known for its uh, striking and bold appearance which was different to any other tower block design in the UK. Uh, the brutalist design was similar to um, the architect's other gateshead construction, Trinity Square. The tower housed uh, two bedroom flats up to the tenth floor and then one bed flats from the 11th to the 29th floor. As part of the scheme, 14 shops in the supermarket would be provided, replacing the old shops along Ravensworth Road. And a new social club would also be constructed and also a petrol station. The tower received some fame for featuring in a Tudor Crisps advert in the 1970s, being used as a metaphor for a mountain. I take a few bags of Tudor at your wages. Nothing but the best for you, right, lad? Aye, great flavours, Tudor. Hey, Jack. Never the reason I get a canny bag of crisps. You're right, man. The Tudor or kind of mountain. Tudor, a crisp that's really worth its salt. Pretty that lift out of order. <laughs> the tower had its fair share of downfalls. Uh, and problems experienced by the local residents. Uh, the first of all these was the visual impact. The tower itself, due to its brutalist appearance, was an icon of the landscape. Whether this was a positive or negative can be um, questioned, but obviously due to its height, this caused overshadowing over large areas of Dunstan. Another problem with the building was the underground car park. Once a core feature of the design, frequently flooded and was closed off to residents. Lifts frequently broke and water pressure was very low within the tower, as for many tower blocks built during this time, uh, damp was a major problem in the flats. A council house and spokesman from Gateshead Council said, many people see Derwent Tower as representing all that was wrong with the past when buildings were designed and created rather than designed as places to live. The water tanks which were on the outside of the building also caused problems of pigeons getting into these and contaminating the water supply. A further issue was the living conditions within the tower. 
The tower gained a nickname of Heartbreak Hotel because many divorced men moved into the hotel due to the high number of single bedroom flats. The tower was in need of major refurbishment for many years and as unpopular residents and locals, it had been allowed to fall in the state of neglect through lack of maintenance. The architect had this to say regarding the poor condition of the rocket, that the council has allowed, indeed encouraged deterioration, that the flats within the tower can still be brought up to modern standards and the rocket kept as a landmark in the new development if a site was to be redeveloped around it. The tower's demolition. The last resident moved out of the tower in 2007 and by September 2012, the tower was fully demolished as there were concerns by Gateshead Council over the uh, residents living within the tower amid health and safety concerns over the already poor and continually deteriorating state of the building services. When this decision was made, only 40 residents were living in the tower. Residents along Ravensworth Road of Dunstan uh, were polled on whether to demolish the tower. 99% of people in the area supported the demolition. For a period of time, there was an application to list the structure and stop it from being demolished. Uh, English Heritage actually backed the plans to pull down the tower and clear the site for a major development. The tower was completely demolished by September 2012. Since the tower's demolition, there have been numerous regeneration projects within the surrounding areas of Dunstan. This has become a much more attractive place to live, with its waterfront location and quick access to the centres of Newcastle and Gateshead. The replacement for Derwent Tower uh, saw a low-rise construction with family homes, a doctor's surgery, chemist and supermarket. 44 years after the tower's original construction, it was fully demolished.